Paula Poundstone is one of the Comedy Central's 100 greatest stand-up comedians, a Comedian Hall of Fame inductee, and American Comedy Award winner for Best Female Stand-Up Comic. And you can see her live at WJCT Soundstage Saturday, December 3rd. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we're excited to talk to you today. But first, let's get into what and or who inspired you to become a comedian. I think it had to have been my mother because she was the angriest person I've ever known. Oh, no. And and so one had to have coping techniques, you wow. know? Right. And the, the first sentence of the last paragraph of the summary letter written by my kindergarten teacher, uh, which they wrote in lieu of a report card in May of 1965, I think it was, um, she wrote, I have enjoyed many of Paula's humorous, humorous comments about our activities. And so... I have to assume that that I was that I was already using my coping technique. Oh yeah. Was there a specific comic also? Uh, I wanted to be. I wanted to be Lucille Ball uh, when I was little. I wanted to be. Uh, as I got a little bit older, I want. I, I I wanted to be Lily Tomlin. I wanted to be Mary Tyler Moore. I wanted to be Carol Burnett. I wanted to be. Madeline Kahn, I wanted to be Gilda Radner, and, and I missed it all by a country mile. <laughs> oh, stop, stop. <laughs> Let's talk about something else you're doing. You're a regular on the Peabody Award-winning weekly news quiz show. Wait, wait, don't tell me. That's the name of it. Um, and it's heard nationwide on national public radio. What can you tell us about that? It's so much fun to do. I bet. I, I think for something like, I don't know, 22 years, maybe, um, I've, I've lost track, uh, but for those who don't know, it's a weekly news quiz show on NPR made, made by NPR. And, uh, there's three panelists each week vying for the mantle of, I don't know, most informed, I guess we answer questions about the week's news and we make jokes. And, uh, uh, for those who listen to the show, I, I really enjoy the opportunity to talk about it because I like to clear up a misconception, which is this. Yes, I'm trying to win. <laughs> a, a lot of people think I throw the match intentionally. I don't. The others cheat. That's the problem. <laughs> so what can we expect overall at your show, uh, December 3rd? Uh, December 3rd will be a night of healing laughter. We need it. Uh, yeah, we do need it. So the great thing about laughter is that it's good for the brain. It releases, uh, you know, all the happy chemicals that you, that you need to to cope and get by with whatever is in front of us. What advice do you have for future comics? Well, open mic nights are your college, right? That's where you train and learn how to do it. And it, it you know, you got to do what's in your heart. And uh, you're going to bomb. You're going to be terrible. Uh, just like in any other profession, you're not, you're not great when you first do it. Right. Um, and, and, and that's, that, that's just the way it is. That's part of the whole thing. So you do have to kind of have a bit of a thick skin, I think. Um, but uh, honestly, once people experience getting laughs on stage, that it, it, it becomes sort of a drug um a good drug yeah you get addicted and, to it right it, yeah so generally speaking I, I don't i don't think a lot of people just give it up uh or they don't just give it up real early on uh, um uh yeah it, and by the way with the exception of the travel it is the best job in the whole world well this has been such a pleasure thank you so much for joining us today and uh break a leg when you're here on december 3rd well, thanks very much. It was nice talking with you. You too. And if you'd like to see this segment again, just head to our website at firstcoastliving.net.